the WUFT newsroom for Thursday, September 25th. Here's your news in 90. Police say a South Florida woman faces child abuse charges after her five-month-old son was found in her vehicle's trunk. The deputy said the baby was stuffed inside the trunk through the rear seat opening because the woman did not want to be ticketed for the child being not being in a car seat. Police in South Florida say a group of middle school students brought guns to school Wednesday. Miami-Dade School Police say they found a gun in a student's backpack while another student was holding a gun at Brownsville Middle School. It appears that no one was injured. Police are questioning the students. Boston Marathon bombing suspect Joe Harsanaya will go to trial January 5th. That's the ruling of a judge who late Wednesday chose to postpone the trial two months. Sanaya was scheduled to go to trial November 3rd. The judge, however, denied a request to move the trial from Boston to Washington, D.C. If found guilty, Sanaya could face the death penalty. North Korean officials have released video of U.S. citizen Matthew Miller, who was sentenced to six years of hard labor last week. The video is a brief interview with the Associated Press in which he said he's working eight-hour days digging fields and being kept in isolation. Afterwards, North Korean authorities allowed Miller to call his family. Irish authorities say they seized a ton of cocaine on board a yacht off the southwest coast of Ireland. Irish officials estimate the value of the drugs is about $95 million. The three men on board, believed to be from the UK, have been arrested. That's your News in 90. Thank you for watching.